Boom, there we go. Awesome. All right, what's up everybody? This is Jose Trujillo. I'm here with uh, Nicolas. Hello. And uh, we're here in my studio and and I uh, just wanted to talk to you guys really brief about uh, an article that I, I was writing. Um, I'm gonna post it on, on LinkedIn. And I thought it was very interesting. I made a, I made a, a, a youth, uh, not a YouTube, uh, an Instagram video as well mm -hmm. on on the difference between basically what it is. It's the difference between being an artist and and you know you you want to be an artist, you want to create artwork, and that's that's one stage. That's you know it's beautiful, and also there's another stage which is less talked about, mm -hmm. which is how do I start generating income and how do I get into the galleries and that kind of deal okay. and that's almost almost always kind of um, put aside or not really talked about mm -hmm. and I think part of it is also because it deals with setbacks or it deals with generating income and things like that mm -hmm. that you know I, I think that it becomes uh, it becomes a little bit more difficult for some people right. you know and so I, I I've been doing I've been doing this this gig full time for about almost a decade now, and and I found some things, some key things, very simple stuff that I feel like it's helped me, and, and I've seen that also in sort of like a pattern in other artists that are doing it full time. They're 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 doing I want to say the same thing, but 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 they're behaving almost identically. I would say almost. And I know I know that this is like a it might be considered you know. A little, uh, I don't know, almost, almost like, like this is the truth, you know. But but it's not because I think everybody does it in different ways. Okay. But yeah. but it, in hindsight, it looks almost, it looks too similar, and I I just want to talk about so it. So you feel like they like you were in their position a number of years ago, and like uh, you can kind of see like where they're at, and like if they're according to like your According to how it worked for you, if it's going along sort of the same route. <laughs> Is you alright? Are you okay? <laughs> sorry, sorry, Nicholas. I didn't, I didn't okay, catch that okay, last it's part. Okay, it's okay. So if, if I was, I was in their shoes, sort of. Yeah, so, sort of like, so like, they are, they are now where you were once at, and how like, so like, what you're talking about is like, where, you, so like, with your, with. You have more perspective now right. that you've been doing it for 10 years. Right. And when you see other artists sort of like trying the same thing that you've done for the past 10 years, like you're, you're kind of like, I guess thinking, you know, you can kind of see the differences between the artists that do this exactly. full time for their living and the artists who do this more, it's just like a habit. Or exactly. Sorry, just like a... Um, just like on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, it, it's almost like, like I, I, I sort of been there. Uh huh. You know, not in the ex exact position, but I, I know what that feels like. I know what it feels like to, to want to exhibit your work or to want to sell your work or whatever, and and feel almost, um, like you run out of time, you run out of resources very mm -hmm. fast, and you feel like. Man, how do people do it? You know, yeah. you start scratching your head. How do people actually do it? And so, as I changed years and I started going a little faster in my career, I started learning why is it that how how people actually do it. Mm -hmm. And 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 I don't know if this is the end all be all truth because I mean, there's no one way. But uh, I see, I definitely see the, the correlation. I see the thread, and I see artists where I want to be at, mm -hmm. the place where I want to be, and. Uh, and I see that they're doing that. They're doing what I've been doing, but at a whole other capacity. Uh, okay. You know, so they're, so they're playing. They're playing the game that I'm, I've been playing to get to get a little bit of success yeah. where I'm at. But they're playing it like at a max capacity, where I'm like, oh my god, how do they even do that? Right. You know, and, and so you start figuring out how they do it. But uh, but still, you know, but still, it's it's a whole other level. And so what I've learned is that the 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 artist has for the most part has a mindset if, if the solo entrepreneur or solo owner, however they call it, has the mindset of of diy like i'm gonna do it myself but also has the mindset of 
that's not a bad thing. Like, like you're gonna do it yourself. It's not. A, it's bad. It becomes a little bit difficult later on, but but in the beginning, you do want to do it yourself. But also has the mindset of of an employee. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to paint for a living. You know, so so we become very singular. I want to paint for a living. So what does that mean? I want to create artwork, artwork that is so great that when I when I show it in a gallery, when I list it, when I post it, or whatever, it's going to it's going to sell itself and then accolades and opportunities and income and whatnot mm -hmm. is going to come my way. And that's a very beautiful, very romantic notion of what an artist is. But I found that to be very rare, almost extremely rare to the point where it's like maybe winning the lottery seven times in a row would be more wow. common than that happening in my, in my judgment. What I found out, what changed my, my life is that I started thinking outside that that realm mm -hmm. I stopped thinking about a, an employee and I started thinking wait a minute if I'm a, if I'm an artist and that means that maybe I'm I'm an entrepreneur you know and so if I'm an entrepreneur what is it what does it mean to be an entrepreneur what does it mean to 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 run something you know and the very very first thing that I found out is is an entrepreneur is a risk taker one of the very first things I found out. But I also found out that the things that were way, making making me get a little ahead was that I stopped thinking about me doing a good job mm -hmm. and I started thinking about me doing multiple jobs. And that, that literally just changed my my career. So here's what I, what I was doing in the beginning. I was like, man, I'm gonna paint and I'm gonna create really great paintings and I'm going to go to a show and somehow I'm going to get the show or somehow I'm going to sell them online and people are just going to buy them. And, and it's going to come down to how great I create artwork or how great or how unique my idea is or, or and on and on and on. Right. And so it, it, it almost it, it, if you I don't know if you can see this, but it almost sounds like an employee or or a member in, in, in the armed forces where you're like you're you're this. Uh, I don't know, you're stay in your post you got to do this job and you got to do it fine and, you know almost like a sharpshooter you won't move from here this is your job you know and your job is to be a really great shot you're a sharpshooter but you're going to stay here mm -hmm. you know and, and i think that that's that's very much the mindset of the entrepreneur how can i get really good and become very precise and focus and nail it but unfortunately that's not what an entrepreneur is an entrepreneur it's almost like the general the person that commands all of these things, mm -hmm. you know, I have the sharpshooters here. I have, I know it's like, a, I'm using war. <laughs> I have, you know, I have cannons over here. I got the, well, we can take a medieval, as, right? I, I got the, I got the bows and arrows over here. Well, as an artist though, like what are you the general of? Is it like are you the general of like materials and then like your, your marketing, like, like everything, yeah, everything. The, the career itself. Okay. You know, so you're the general. If you're an artist, you are the person who has to create the artwork. Uh -huh. You have to market the artwork. You have to probably, probably more than likely, you have to package the artwork. You have to ship the artwork. You know, you have to go hang it, mm -hmm. and and uh, and take it to modern day. You know, like bring it to modern day. That means what is marketing? What is what is marketing even mean? You know, so you have to run ads more likely, and maybe you don't have the income to run ads. Most most artists don't. I didn't have the income to run ads, so if I don't have the income to run ads, what am I gonna do? So I have to be on on every social media platform available to me that is free. So I have to be on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, you know, uh, YouTube. I have to be on all of the social media uh, platforms. But how much can I really be there? Because I also have to go paint. Yeah. And if I sold something, I got to go package that and yeah. ship it, you know? So you're, you're wearing a hundred different hats, you know? And so would you say like, because you, you made the point that like, it's not about being precise and doing it fine and doing it perfect. Would you say it's more about like doing one, marketing it, getting it out and then going on to the next one, doing that, marketing it. It's, it out, it's like, juggling. It's juggling. throwing as many balls in the air and knowing that some are going to fall and it's okay. It's about spinning as many plates as you can and some will 
will stop spinning, some will break. Uh -huh. It's it's about winning in volume. So if I if, if I create some artwork and I go put it on Facebook yeah. or on my pay, my personal website or whatever, and I'm like, oh man, I hope something sells. You know, at best maybe run a little ad on Facebook, mm -hmm. and I'm like, man, I hope something sells or on Instagram. I hope something sells, and you're kind of Okay, well, something. Well, I wait well, for something to sell. I'm gonna go paint again. Mm -hmm. And so we we're stuck in this minimal two or three little things that we do. Mm -hmm. You know, go paint, market it, or list it, and then market it. Go paint, list it on some platform, and then and throw run an ad or or engage on Instagram or whatever. And we're stuck in this on this little things. And and what I'm saying is, there's so many things to do. You know, mm -hmm. that that the superpower is to jump as fast as you can to a hundred different things. And it almost seems like, well, how will you ever get anything done? And, and that's the trick. Yeah. Right. The trick is that many things you won't get done, mm -hmm. but you will impact it. You know, and I think the power is in the impact. You're, you're going to impact something. You're going to you're going to go make a painting. Maybe you're not going to finish it today, but, but, but you're going to work on it. You might record a video, mm -hmm. and 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 if you have something wrong through your mind, you might go and type something real quick, you know, a couple of sentences, a couple of paragraphs, uh, and and make an article, mm -hmm. you know, and and go and go post it in as many social media platforms as possible, you know, and and if you have you know five ten dollars, run an ad on Facebook for five or ten bucks on it, mm -hmm. and then pick up the phone. And call a gallery, and tell them about your new painting, and you, you know, they want to feature it in, in, their, sh in their upcoming show, yeah. and and uh, and get a couple of postcards, and and send them out, you know, to people that maybe have bought from you or have not bought from you and are thinking about buying from you or maybe don't even care about buying from you, mm -hmm. but imagine the power of a little postcard, right, a little handwritten note, and maybe text a couple of people, and then go get a, go, go go into your email and email a couple of people. You know, mm -hmm. and so this is the job of the artist, and I think that it's it's so. Uh, it's about being proactive. It's about being proactive in as many activities as possible, mm -hmm. so that you start getting lucky. <laughs> yeah, you know. So the the idea is, I'm going to make a great painting. I'm going to put it online, and then all of a sudden, I hope something sells, right? Yeah. But the, the reality is you put it online and then you put it here and then you put it there and you send an email and you put it in a hundred different places and you talk about it to a hundred different people and you run a few other, a few ads, you know, mm -hmm. and you, you write an article and then you ask people to share that article and you know what I mean? And you start doing, you pick up the phone, you start doing all these things and it's tornado. Okay. It's messy. And, and when you, when did you, um... Like, when did you start making, like, the right amount of money to, like, put all your efforts into this full time? Because, like, like, you know, most artists, I think, like, they do it on the side because they need something else for their income. Yeah. So, like, that transition period, I would imagine it would be, like, really difficult. Um, or, like, it would be difficult to be able to tell when... Is like the right moment like like what was the right moment for you you said like it, it switched when you started just doing multiple different like works at the same time and then one after the other the right moment for me was when i found i i don't think people should leave their jobs okay for their career i think i think you should keep your job as long as you can and so you go to work 10 hours a day you know eight hours but it's 10 hours you drive yeah, back and yeah. forth and whatnot you should be spending the the other six hours, you know, uh, on your career and running as fast as you can. And, and the transition for me was when I realized that I was going to make much more income doing the art. When I started seeing, right, I started projecting because I, I was I was making a little bit of income and, and I was like, oh, okay, but I you know I, I still needed to do other things right? yeah like do, do the things that were generating me income that were not art my job right yeah and then uh 
And then I started seeing that, wait a minute, if I lean a little harder on this art thing, I can see what, what could happen. Okay. I, and, that, and then I started leaning on it and leaning on it, doing more things. And then I started realizing that that uh, that I was there's just no way to keep a job if if this was going to give me ten times more than than my job. Did you have like I don't say a fan base, but like did you have like a group of like customers that like you knew wanted you to work, that like you count on to like? But you know I didn't. I I what I had is is regular sales, and, and it wasn't from a fan base. It was from from shooting from the hip, like what I just described to you, like like just going and and, and telling some, telling people, like I got excited and telling people, hey, I paint, I paint. You want me to paint a commission for you? Like here's the price, you know, and and then going and, and then I started auctioning stuff on eBay, and then I was selling stuff on Craigslist, you know, and then I was, I was having art shows at the same time. So if I didn't sell something on eBay. And this was here in Tucson? It was here in Tucson. If I didn't sell something on eBay, it was fine. Because you had other... Because I had other... Other points. Other points. Okay. And that's what I'm illustrating here. That's, that's the point that I'm trying to drive. If, if you're an artist and you're a full-time artist, you should have... They're, they're not secure, but you should have at least 50 other points where you could generate an opportunity for it. And that's why you have that 50. It's like, not all of them are going to work. A lot of them aren't gonna 49, work. 49 are probably not gonna work <laughs> right. that day. Right. You know, but what if one works in a week? What if you have 50 different points? Mm -hmm. You know, you have a few online galleries. You have brick and mortar galleries. You know, uh, you have an email list. You send out postcards, physical, right? Or, or letters or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, you pick up the phone and you call 10 people or five people. You go walk and you knock on two different galleries a day. You know, or 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 coffee shops or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, and and people that express some sort of interest in your work, you follow up with, them, you email them. And people that haven't expressed, you know, you exchange something for their email, mm -hmm. something of value. So you're so you're so you're growing your email list, and at the same time you're utilizing the email list to get back to people. So so it's it's hundreds of jobs. You know, it's 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 but. The, the temptation is I want to do my email list so well and most artists will spend an enormous amount of time trying to figure that out. So you figure out like who's actually interested, who wants to My see My target it. market and, and yada yada, you know, uh -huh. all this stuff. Or, or I just want to paint really well and they spend an enormous amount of time trying to paint really well. But they're not thinking about what I've seen and what I've seen with other artists that are generating success. And success is, a, is subjective, of course. Some people, you know, everybody sees success differently. But I'm talking about doing it full time and getting paid. So, like for right? you, success is being able to support yourself with your practice. Right, right. For, for me, success is being able to support myself, my family, and being able to have room for growth. Okay. Because I know, like, for some people, and I think, like, this is also coming from, like, a sort of art school background, success would be having critical success. You know, like having having the the critics, the theorists, people who like look at the work, really respond positively right. to it. You know, having a show, at, like having that kind of exposure, that kind of success. But right. for you, like you said, it's subjective. Right. So for you, it's, it's subjective. For for me, that would be success too. But I I I want to get paid while I'm doing that. Right. You know. <laughs> if you had to choose, I guess you would pick being paid because that's right. Like your livelihood. Right. That's my livelihood. So. Exactly. Cool. Exactly. So, it, in the beginning, success was creating something great. Uh -huh. You know, developing a style, and I worked so hard to develop a style and to develop a, a, a certain type of brushwork. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, and in the beginning, that was it. And so, I spent years on that. Mm -hmm. But after a while, you know, I had a lot of success with that. I loved it. People would tell me, "Oh my God, your brushstroke is so amazing! The way that you paint." Mm -hmm. uh, not that the paintings are so amazing, that the, the, the little thing that I carved out for myself, you know, that, that little that little edge that I carved out for myself mm -hmm. and, and my brushwork and the colors that I use and whatnot. And people are like, oh, that's so awesome. But but after, after a while that, I mean, that was nice, but I, I needed something else, Yeah, you know? And, and so I started thinking, okay, well, that's nice, but that's not gonna, that's not gonna go buy me the next canvas. Yeah. That's not gonna go, 
pay for my shipping, shipping my artwork to, to another city, mm -hmm. to a gallery. Because you know? remember, if, if, if artwork doesn't sell, you have to ship it both ways. Yeah. You know? If it yeah. sells, you only ship it once, but if it doesn't sell, you have to ship it both ways. Yeah, so 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 I started realizing, oh man, you need you need some income to go with this mm -hmm. to make it work. Okay. You know, at least in my in my in my experience. Right. But I, I I mean going back to that point that I was making earlier, I think that the most important thing is to find out what your rhythm is. You know, because if you if you want to be a full time artist, you can't behave like an employee. An employee does one job, and you can you know you're a fry cook, right? Yeah. You do that and, and you do that well, right? A manager uh, manages like, five people. He does it and he does it well. Mm -hmm. But the owner has to take care of the whole thing. Yeah. You know, and in the beginning, if the owner doesn't have the 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 resources the owner is the fry cook mm -hmm. the owner cleans right the owner serves the food the owner does everything yeah right in the beginning in the beginning and that's what i i try to share with artists when i when i'm when i coach with them or, or you know or just videos like this i try to share with them look you, you, you do it all and, and how can you do it all there's no way mm -hmm. so you know, most artists are like, how, how am I going to do that? And then run ads and then do this and, and then go visit galleries. Like, it's crazy. How am I going to do all of that? So we do what's, what comes naturally comfortable for us. I'm just going to make really great art and I'm going to go paint. Yeah. Because that's more comfortable than, then I'm going to go paint and then I'm going to go, da, 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 da. I'm going to do all these things, all this. But it's part of like what that you are said. not even fun. It's part, yeah. It's part of like what you said. It's like, you know, there's a risk taker. It's a risk taker. So, it's, I mean, they say, you know, you grow when you're not comfortable. So maybe, like, I guess for artists, like, who are wondering what the next step is. If the next step is something that, like, you feel uncomfortable. Or, like, if you feel, like, uncomfortable about doing something, maybe that's your next step. Yeah. That, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Well said. Yeah. That could be the next step. If you're uncomfortable, maybe I'm getting gallery shows. Maybe you don't have to do a thousand different things. But yeah. Maybe the next step is, man, I feel uncomfortable about go, going talking to a gallery. And then that's your that's your leap. And for for you, like calling up galleries and straight, just being very straightforward and telling them about your work and about possibly having your show, and like that's worked for you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, and, and I found that in my life, the thing that always works is asking. Because not nothing. I mean, what can go wrong? They say no. You move on to the next person. Mm. Yeah. When I was going out, I, I I always tell this joke, but I, I mean it's not a joke, but it's funny now. Uh, I used to go out and, and when I was younger, I used to be a musician mm -hmm. and, you know, you, you want to start dating and, and having fun and whatnot. And, and I was I was horrible at, at dating, you know, mm -hmm. I didn't know how to ask girls out or anything. I was like, yeah, I was horrible. Yeah. And I saw this guy, he was always, he, he wasn't, he was just, he was just slick. Yeah. You know? He wasn't good looking, like, like he was just slick. He was much older than me too. And he told me one day, he stopped me and he's like, you know, he, he saw me just like not knowing how to do it. And, and. I was about 17, 18 years old, and he, he, he pulled me aside, and he's like, look, you're, you're doing it all wrong. I was like, oh, here he comes. He's going to tell me, <laughs> like, the slick way of saying it. And he's like, you're not asking enough girls. And it just, it was like, boom. It was like a light bulb. He's like, you're doing it all wrong. I thought he was going to tell me, you're, you're saying it wrong, yeah. or you're behaving wrong. He's like, no, you're not asking enough girls. If you ask enough, one's going to say yes. You know, <laughs> like, want to go out with me? Want to go out with me? Like, someone's bound to say yes. So nothing could go. Like, I, I started learning early on. Just ask. Like, what, what could go wrong? They say no. Hey, you want to go to the movies with me? Hey, you want to hang out my artwork? Like, what could go wrong? No, we don't have space for you right now. Or, or that'd be nice, but you know, not some other time. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You just you walk to the next person. And then you and, go back some other time. And then you go back exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You go back and you ask again in a different way, maybe okay. with a different pitch. I think for a lot of people, like that could be like uncomfortable, like continuing to ask because you know people don't want to be annoying, they don't want to be bothersome. But if they hear, I, if I some tells them no now, that means it's no forever, right? And it's very easy to to get kind of stuck in the. Sort of I think those are those are 
I mean, I, at least in my experience, I think those are cop outs because mm. we don't want to be comfortable. Yeah. So, so we end up saying, I don't want to be a bother. But yeah. really, really, I don't want to be uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, I don't want to bother you. Like some, some people say, I don't want to waste your time. Yeah. You know, and some salespeople are like, look, I don't want to waste your time, so I'm <laughs> just going to leave. You know, and it's like, I think it's okay, you can waste my time. <laughs> or not, it doesn't matter, but you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just try it. What, what could go wrong? I, so, yeah. Was that, was that good? Yeah, that was did good. Do, uh, you did an awesome job. Thank man. you, thank you. Jose. Awesome. Yeah, no, that was really good. <laughs> don't, don't let me hit oh, 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 oh. <laughs> We do the whole thing here. Cool. All right, guys. Yeah. All right, I think that's it.